Hello, welcome. I'm Ronaldo, and I am here with Tanika. So, as you can see, we are not at PSU. This is not Portland. We are here in the beautiful Columbia Edgewater golf course today. We're doing golf. So, I'm here to play a little chipping game. And so, basically, uh, it's the same thing always as Vikes, uh, except we're just gonna be chipping. Uh, whoever gets it closest to the pin gets a point. Um, and you decide, obviously, where we're gonna chip. So, yeah, uh, I will do my best. I've, I've played golf here and there, but uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, I've never played it at the Division One high school or even any level. Just casual on a Tuesdays, you know, usual. How do you feel about this? See, I'm excited for this. Yeah. I've never done something like this, so excited to see how it goes. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to destroy her. Let's go. <gasps> all in the, it's all in the shoulders, okay. Oh no, please stay. I need to. I need to just hit it with some velocity next time. Oh god, it's like a whip. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay, let's just say she won this first round. Let's just say it. Let's just say it. So I'm gonna need to hit a little stronger. It's currently V nothing. Okay, let's get on with this. So we learn some things. Yeah. <laughs> you have recently, uh, in your Southern Utah tournament, have scored a 69, which is a minus three overall. How did you feel? Because I'm guessing it was 18, right? Yes. Going through 18 holes, how did you feel mentally and like physically? Well, I was really excited to just keep the round going. Um, I was really excited to be in such warm weather and also just focus on the next shot. So for me, it was all about just hitting it where I wanted to and picking my spots on the course. And I feel like I did that pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel like even, like did you have any miscues that you feel like you really did a good job controlling and getting back on? Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of placement golf. So you had to pick your spot, spots, you had to hit them. And I felt like I did a pretty good job of that. Um, it was pretty tough at times, but I managed the adversity pretty well. Love, love. Yeah. I could only dream of doing minus three, dear God. Uh, Bogey, double bogey here and there. One time I got a par, I was literally like the Super Bowl of celebrating with champagne. Anyways, let's get on with this <laughs> next round. Let's go. Uh. Okay. Man, that's all right. That's all right. I... <laughs> These are my nerves <laughs> that are, I'm just getting, I'm just so afraid to over hit it that it's just, uh VI, my little, if you guys can't tell, it's a little soccer ball. Mix soccer with golf makes you a better player. Anyways, I can't hit, uh, again, too short. Um, and you have absolutely the best aim in the business. Um, I'll try my best. Anyways, we talked about your game. Could you tell us what your strength is particularly playing? Um, for me, I feel like one of my strengths is definitely hitting it pretty far. Um, not only am I pretty accurate off the tee, but I hit it further than most of my competitors, so I think that gives me an edge. Yeah. So for drive, what is your average like yardage hit, do you know? Uh, my average is 260. And sometimes I'll hit it further, sometimes I'll hit it shorter, but it's always around there. Gotcha. What, do you, what part of your game do you think has always challenged you and that you always had to get to practice? My putting. So even if I take a few days off, I'll have to revisit my putting right away. Gotcha. And do you feel like you practice that? Like when you're practicing with your teammates, you take like extra time doing putting? Yes, because okay. it's all about confidence too. I mean, you're not gonna make it unless you believe you will, so. Oh, yeah. Let's see what I can do in the next <laughs> round. Let's go. Ugh. Oh, too far. Oh, that's right not even, no, no backspin at all, nothing. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep her going. Keep going. Stop. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Pull up. There's a little bit of wind. Hold up. Is that cheating if I do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look at that. That's actually not, hey. I still lost, anyways. I was not cheating. That is obviously a part of the game. I was just influencing the wind. Don't worry, guys. She still beat me. Not it by is much. <laughs> no, that was the first time you didn't just aim it directly next to the pin. Um, you were pretty tall and athletic. Did you play any other games, like in high school, or like did you have any other favorites that not only you liked playing but helped you win golf? So definitely basketball. I feel like basketball one of the was one of those sports that I just grew up loving. Um, my family is a basketball family more than a golf family. Really? So it was pretty funny that I ended up playing golf. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make them watch more golf now? Sadly, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like, fair. Come to your tournaments, but. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah. And I grew up, I don't know, just loving both sports. So. Yeah. Interesting. What made you? decide to do golf like did you play basketball and then get introduced to golf or both at the same time so I started both basketball and golf around the age of six and I started competing um, locally and then regionally um, around seven or eight and nationally when I was about 13 so I knew I would go further in golf than basketball yeah. Interesting. just to give you uh, like a comparison I started at 18 <laughs> During the summer, uh, I played golf, and that was about it. I had like 90-year-old club, uh, clubs, so you had a little bit of a head start. Yeah, Anyways, just a little bit. <laughs> let's get to this hopefully not last round. I will do my best. I promise. Let's go. Oh, oh. go. No. Ah, okay. Yeah, just come back. There you go. <laughs> I got one more. I got one more ball. I'm gonna try this one more time, just for my own dignity's sake. Kay. Oh my god. Okay. Locked in. It's locked in my memory. I, th I think I know. Okay. Oh no, I'm not. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for it. So as you can see. The distance between mine and hers are a small distance, quaint, doable. It's still both technically on the green, um, but I think that was game. Okay, so um, that was quick. Again, that was probably the quickest game in existence, right along there with tennis. Um, thank you so much for playing. Yeah, thank you. I need to work on my chipping. Um, and yeah, could you tell us what is upcoming for golf? So we have two tournaments in Arizona coming up right after spring break. So we're very excited about those and we're gonna head into some really great weather. Ugh, yeah. Some great <laughs> weather, guys. Go outside, please. Ugh, especially if you live in Oregon, Jesus, it's been it's been raining for so long. So yeah, um, that was the episode. Go follow PSU Golf. I believe it's at PSU Golf W Vikes or PSU Vikes W Golf on Instagram or at govex.com. Um, thank you guys so much. It's been Ronaldo. Peace. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.